Okay, so I was just browsing Reddit literally this morning while I was pooping. Is that TMI? What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Now, if you're watching this at home on a computer or something equivalent, first off, I wanna thank you for being a socially responsible homebody. I know right now all of us gotta stay home, social distance ourselves, which might be kind of strange for you adventurous extroverts out there. But if you're someone like me, who's an introverted creative like 90% of the time, then you probably already know staring at your computer and staying indoors for hours and hours all too well. So I figured why not take the time to finally sit down and watch all of the crazy, super cool videos that you guys have been sending me. So far, I've gotten a chance to see some of the stuff that you've sent after watching the tutorials, but there's been so many other really cool After Effects tips and tricks and techniques that you guys have been sending like this whole time. So you know what we're doing? We're gonna batch watch all of them and I'm gonna share my thoughts as we go through this together. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it up right now. I got it here on my phone. This first video we have actually says it was created with Photoshop After Effects and lockdown what do we have here this looks like it's like this illustrated wolf but holy shit, i can tell already that this is actually a plugin called lockdown it's actually a plugin that we talked about in the top five best plugins of the year for 2019 i'm pretty impressed to see someone use this like this i've definitely seen it on stuff like animals and then even uh like shirts and different things like that but to imagine that he was able to apply this entire paint style to this wolf and his head can rotate around all of it works out is pretty sick, so. Now, at first glance, I thought that this was EB Synth, which does style transfers. It's kind of what I would call an effect like this, a style transfer you make one image or one video look like it has a style of another one. So sometimes they'll do this with paintings and things like that. Pretty cool to see it done on this live video of this wolf. And wow, the, the results are just amazing. So this one comes from John Amin. Holy shit. Yeah, I gotta put a link to Lockdown in the description. And also make sure you check out our top five best plugins of the year for After Effects. If you have not seen that, you're gonna find plugins like Lockdown and a whole lot of other cool ones there as well. Okay, so this is an intro made for a YouTube channel by Barry Bear. I like your name, Barry Bear, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Now already I'm thinking that this whole brain animation was maybe made in like Cinema 4D. The really cool part that I like is how this brain splits apart and then you guys see this gooey animation in between and we have all these flourishes and color changes in between. What I'm noticing though is that this looks very, very similar to a template pack. I'm trying to remember which one it is. I'll probably like find out and leave a, a link in the description. But I for sure seen like these graphics to where those cartoon animations, it's like those are added in posts, but the really cool way that he's able to incorporate those animations to transition to this uh, 2D, 3D logo, and then even do like the color changes. I'm wondering if even these color changes are at all like baked in there, like 3D at all. It's, it's a little bit too quick to tell and the camera motions make it hard, but all around looks like a pretty cool animation. Oh shoot, okay, yeah, so it does say he actually used After Effects, Cinema 4D, and Element 3D. And if you guys don't know what Element 3D is, it's actually a plugin for After Effects, super, super powerful. It does a whole bunch of really cool 3D animation, 3D just handling inside of After Effects. We talk about it on the best plugins for After Effects. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested in touching 3D and After Effects because it is just a monster. And I can't recommend it enough. It's from Video Copilot, one of our favorites. So yeah, huge shout out to that. Okay, so next up we have something from Motion Nick. Dang, this looks pretty sick. I like how he edited this process video. It's pretty snappy, but already we can see that he's going from Illustrator. Dang, I can already see there's so many layers going on in this. So it looks like he designed this whole thing out in Illustrator and then he's probably gonna take all those vectors and put them into After Effects. Oh shoot, and he did that whole star Starfield uh, animation in there first. Dang, there he is animating all like the little UIs. It looks like he added a displacement map onto like this, uh, shoot, I don't even know what. Yeah, already I gotta say, I love this style, the way that he's playing around with 2D elements and then making them feel 3D. It's super simple animations, but the layering up of them is, is coming together really nicely. Pretty cool as well. He even does a whole tutorial on this. So it looks like the tutorial actually doesn't go too much into the Illustrator component of it, but thankfully we actually have a tutorial tutorial on Adobe Illustrator After Effects. We'll probably be revamping it again soon, so be on the lookout for that. Maybe 
make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not hit it already. We're gonna be going over a whole bunch of super cool stuff and you don't wanna miss out. All right, let's just get back into looking at these dope videos. Huge props to Motion Nick for coming out with a really great use of After Effects and Illustrator and just combining the two to make a really clean animation. Love it a lot, hope to see more. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this one is already off the bat. I'm sure if you use something like Premiere, then you can already relate. <laughs> it's super cool how this guy was able to add in these animations and make Premiere more like a video game. <laughs> I'm sure if you are a video editor, you can definitely relate to this graphic. It's not really like an After Effects technique as much as just like a really cool application of animation and video editing software. <laughs> now we're getting to the part with these boss, uh, the client boss battles. Yeah, this is so accurate and on point with it. <laughs> back to back emails and then uh is that like a loading screen that he's sending enough of this project contract and three revisions i need this revision asap this intro is super cool like the media offline thing i don't know if you guys caught that but that red screen of death right there is the media offline it happens whenever premiere does not find the files that you're trying to edit and bam he gets like zapped into the computer pretty dope work bird edits i love it want to see some more kind of reminds me of the old school um animation versus animator things like where, where it was like a flash animation fighting the cursor except now we have one finally for video editors so kudos to you for making something like that. Really, really dope, man. Okay, so this one comes from Bazaro17 or Bazaro Zaker. Dot ru. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, man, but what I'm not sorry about is looking at how dope this video is because holy sh**, the way that you're showcasing Mocha is like so impressive being able to take out a lot of really cool things. I know that sometimes when it comes to doing VFX, the really, really impressive ones aren't always what you can put inside of a scene, but what you can take out of it. How do you take out the person with the camera? Like that's even crossing over. Taking out like this car on this really smooth drone shot looks cool. And then shoot, even after adding in like a house and mountain range. So already I'm, I'm like super impressed. <laughs> okay, and yeah, the, the Hello Kitty on the police car thing is just like uh, taking it to a whole nother level. So huge props to you. Shoot, I definitely have to do a motion tracking tutorial showcasing like just how to make some cool stuff like that because Mocha is like really powerful. If you're just getting to After Effects and you haven't touched Mocha, I guarantee that once you like get into it for motion tracking, you're gonna be like, why have I not been doing this before? Because the tracks come out so much cleaner and so much better. And you're able to do a lot more things versatility wise. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have a really dope scribble animation or attempt at a scribble animation is what he calls it. I'm surprised that this person, Knuckle23, says it's his first attempt at scribble animation because this one looks insane. I'm like, holy shit, he's just, yeah, this is so fluid. Now I've definitely been seeing a lot of animations like this, um, especially to K-pop dances. Shoot, we even did a whole video earlier on the channel just reacting to the best ones. Of course, another one had to make an appearance in this video. And if you guys are interested in learning how to do an effect like this, we also have a tutorial on how to do glowing scribble animations on the channel. Yo, okay, this eyeball thing is, it has to be like one of the sickest things I've seen today. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like the subtle optical distortion or VHS distortion that he added in the intro there is really clean. It kind of reminds me of like when a television turns on, except if it was an eyeball as well. So I'm wondering how he made all of those outlines around the eyeball that's kind of like moving in 3D space. I'm thinking he's using an expression in order to do like the duplication we talked about a really cool expression starts with index on our last video well no it wasn't our last video on our top expressions for after effects video so let me check it out and see and, and cool enough like someone already asked how he made it and it looks like expression on the scale they did like an eyeball outline animation and yeah he used the duplication expression so if you guys want to learn more about duplication and stuff like that you can go ahead and check out the best after effects expressions we talked a little bit about using the index and duplication to create some really cool stuff. I honestly think this guy's application is like the dopest one I've seen so far because yeah, I, I definitely have not thought to use it like that. The kudos again to Motion Nick for coming up with something super dope. Wait, is this one also Motion Nick? Is that two things for Motion Nick? Holy sh dude, you're just killing it. Okay, so already we have what looks like a process inside of Adobe Illustrator. I'm honestly like wondering how he's gonna make this uh, super flat illustration look as 3D as he did. Dang, yeah, so I can see he's importing these different grunge textures. Probably gonna use like a bit of glow on there. And this is just like super impressive. Huge props to, wait, what the f Yo, babe, do you know who this was made by? This was made by E-Money. F <laughs> 
<laughs> I had no idea this this one was made by eMoney. Yeah, dang. Okay, the huge huge props to eMoney for coming up with a really cool use of uh, Illustrator and After Effects to make this uh, Broken Promises Black Friday sale sign. Dang. Okay, yeah, that, that's super dope. Shoot, do I even mention that I like reached out to eMoney to to feature her on the channel? Okay, and then the last one that we have is actually pretty hard to notice at first like i was staring at this and i was just like wait what is the uh well, what's like the big deal until i read the caption was content aware film masking is my new best friend i realized holy shit, he's able to take out his drone shadow by using after effects as content aware film mask the result is super clean to where i can even tell that there was a drone shadow in the shot in the first place yeah so huge props to ross money for putting that side by side together that looks really cool and i think that is just about it for all of the videos this video just got me by surprise it's by someone who made it for the very first time doing after effects when i saw it i was like wait a second that fire looks pretty cool and oh shit now he has a lightsaber shooting out or like a little saber beam shooting out and little did i know if i scroll down bam come to my surprise he ended up saying that he followed our tutorials in order to make this so huge shout out yeah it's always a pleasure to get to see what you guys are creating especially after you guys watch the tutorial so keep sending them over it's it's all right anyways okay so i want to know what you guys think which of these videos that we went over was just the absolute dopest the one that you guys think blew your freaking mind or are there any other videos that you just think I should absolutely check out because they are hands down amazing. Leave a comment down below. I love reading all the comments and I'm sure others do as well. And if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope videos that we have planned. We're gonna be talking about all kinds of things from motion tracking to the best video editors to just how to even get started in the wonderful world of motion graphics and VFX and art, digital media. And yeah, it, it just goes on. Just subscribe if you haven't already. It's super dope. Thank you you guys for watching subscribing engaging this channel it's still around thanks to you guys wishing you and your loved ones safe as always i hope to catch you on the next one peace Okay, so I wanted to take this time to answer this question from Matt Green, who is a patron, our Patreon. I think it echoes a question that a lot of you have been asking, especially those of you who are in college or thinking about going to college and studying motion graphics and animation. 